ZANU PF has declared Party Information Secretary and Politburo member a national hero. The party's administration secretary Albert Mpofu announced a national hero status at the Moyo residence in Hillside, Bulawayo Monday morning. He added ZANU PF had unanimously agreed that Moyo's contributions to Zimbabwe's independence befit a national hero status. Moyo died at Mater Day Hospital in Bulawayo Sunday at the age of 76. He was suffering from cancer. Meanwhile, the opposition Zapu has described the death of Moyo as a great loss to the nation. In a statement Zapu Secretary General, who doubles as the party's acting national spokesperson, Nthulisi Hana said Zimbabwe had been left poorer following the death of the former minister and Zimbabwe's ambassador to South Africa. As Zapu, in the spirit of Ubuntu, we believe that every Zimbabwean life is precious, and any loss of life leaves Zimbabwe poorer. This is regardless of one's political affiliation, Hanana said. The passing on of Mr. Moyo is an opportunity for us to reflect on his life. His sterling contribution to the liberation of this country must not be downplayed due to his decisions later in life, Hanana said. Moyo is a former ZAPU member who served as personal assistant to the late Joshua Mkavuko Nkomo. Nkomo is the founding father of ZAPU. The two and several other ZAPU officials joined ZANU-PF in 1987 following the signing of the Unity Accord between ZANU and ZAPU. However, Hanana said Moyo was part of thousands of Zimbabweans who were brutalized by the now late Robert Mugabe governments during the Gukurhundi era in the early 1980s. Over 2000 people were murdered. After independence, as a member of the ZAPU Central Committee, he is part of the people that were victimized by the ZANU government at the height of the Gukurhundi genocide. He was unjustly imprisoned like many other ZAPU members and leaders. We also undoubtedly remember him as part of the people that remained in ZANU-PF when ZAPU pulled out. Though we are still disappointed by his decision and that of many others, we respected his democratic right of defecting from ZAPU by default to join ZANU-PF. We regret that he stayed on when it was obvious that ZANU-PF was failing to serve the interests of our people. His death must be a moment of reflection for the many that were once ZAPU but are now ZANU-PF, Hanana said.